picture. Look at that face. Nobody even knew what it really even tastes like. I want to know what it tastes like. I bet it's nasty. You're going to eat them all. and I'm back with another video today. So, excuse the puffy eyes. I don't know what's been going on. I definitely need some eye patches, but I just made it to the gym. It's Sunday. I don't know what today is because lately I've just been like, I don't know. I feel like I'm in like a twilight in a sense. I don't know what's been happening, but I gotta give me a wider lens. But anywho, um, I'm gonna go get this workout in really quickly. Um, I'm still not comfortable bringing my camera in the gym just because people be looking at you and I just be like, what you looking at? So I'm not gonna bring it, but I don't know, I may sit it down or something if I'm on the Stairmaster, but y'all, this is like day three of no, but no, this is going on day four of no tobacco for me. Um, I'm on this journey and a whole other life changes that I'll get into um, as the consistency goes on of my channel but it's it's been crazy okay it's been crazy but I've definitely missed you guys I miss just vlogging and being in front of the camera and stuff like that and Caleb really loves it too so I'm like yeah Chelsea get your shit together so here we are so I'm gonna great to go in here really quickly. This is man looking at me like I'm crazy. Um, <laughs> go in here and get this workout started. Um, about, probably about an hour before Caleb. Well, Caleb just got up, but I made him a bagel before I left. So before my mother goes to church, because like I said, we're in this transition. And yeah, too bad. So. Okay, y'all. So earlier, I went to the gym. I got little workout, but not what I needed. I call myself trying to do these pull-ups because I need to learn how to do pull-ups to work my chest area. And baby, I think I am pulling the muscles. Oh, so, um, now me and Caleb are finna go walk. Um, I came back, ate a little bit, make sure he ate, and now we're finna go for a walk around the neighborhood. And like I was saying, as you see, the background has changed. I'm at my mother's. So I've never went walking around this neighborhood, so we're gonna see like what what is giving, but for the most part, I think it's like a pretty decent neighborhood. So we're gonna go walk in, then I may need to go ahead and run to the grocery store to make Caleb dinner, gas for the week, and get some of my um things to drop my to-do list now about this no tobacco y'all this is day four like i said before and my mood swings are they're not the best they're not the best so um i'm trying to navigate through that but like this year i'm really trying to like transform not just my body but i'm trying to transform my mind as well I'm trying to make my mind stronger um and that you know calls for letting go of things that you like so that's what it is and that's what we're doing so, so last year i was doing track and i was third place but I you was not doing track tell them something else tell them about what we just talked about we were talking about having patience with each other and the things that we have to accomplish this year she and said how that you're getting older and you need to listen more and we have to do the rice with cream okay goodbye 
Sorry. I was <laughs> trying to right race. Here. I was just trying to race a car. Uh, a you man. were trying to race all the cars while we're walking. No, no. I was, try I was trying to beat two. It's all right. I beat <laughs> one car. No, beat one car. And then a mail truck car was driving kind of slow. Why are you yelling? And I knew that I could beat it. Why are you yelling? My water fell out and my mom made me stop. Yeah. We're taking a little pit stop break. We're gonna go ahead and I, walk to the grocery store. Why not? I think we can uh take a picnic right here. We could actually do a picnic right here, but we're low key like sitting in mud a little bit, but we could do a picnic right here. But I, I guess. don't look. <laughs> I know, it's a spider over here. I'm freaking out running, man. It's a principle. All right, Kayla, break's over. Let's get water. Wait. Break's over. That was a one minute break. Let's get water and. Let's get some trees. Better try walk. We made it to the grocery store. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. We got a little pizza. Hi, guys. We got a little pizza. Kayla, let me try these kind of candy breaks, which I'm not. I'm not gonna mess. We have the sushi with cabbage and little berries and raspberries. But guys, let me tell you something. She doesn't even know if they're good or not. I don't eat them. Nobody eats cotton candy. Cotton candy. I think. Nobody even it. knew what it, what it even candy. tastes like. I want to know what it tastes like. I bet it's nasty. You're going to eat them all. She want me to eat every single last one. Because they're going to be nasty. So yeah. here we are. All right. So yeah. We're gonna get out of the grocery store, we're gonna pay for the stuff, and then head back to the house. All right, y'all, so this is what we got. So we got some, oh, some, uh, <laughs> some other hamburger patties. Sorry, it's fogging up. Come on. It's hot over here, sorry, y'all. Let me turn the bin. But, um, we got some cabbage with some sausages right now, and then got little potatoes, onions right here, and then those are kids' cookies. So everything's almost done. All right, guys. So I am back. So I am actually on my computer. I just assigned my lease. Oh my god. So. Oh. I move in March and I'm so 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 ecstatic y'all I've been waiting so long for a new start like this like so long I ended a relationship and now it's just gonna be me and my baby and give me time to really focus on myself and my goals and what I'm gonna try to accomplish um this year so yeah just on my knees I'm writing everything out I'm gonna show y'all this cute little planner it says making moves and it has like a little thing on the side to can y'all see this oh there it goes <laughs> this little thing on the side to keep like your pages and the little bookmark and the little tassel i guess to just keep you know everything together or whatever but i got it actually as a secret sign to get the work shout out to rochelle and i love it i have been using it and it has been keeping me together okay so I'm gonna finish signing this lease, get everything set up. I also found out, well not really found out, but I was looking on Groupon and I see that Groupon got Groupons for movers. I said, no way, no way. Cause I was really preparing to pay like $300 for movers. And they got like little Groupon, little coupons for like $100 to move a two bedroom. And that's pretty much all I have. Cause I let go of my, my table, my couch, really it wasn't mine. It was purchased for me, so. Oh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I no longer have big furniture like this. So, kinda starting off fresh, but I'm excited. Um, I got it that guy because it's definitely been paving the way for me. Um, I have some things in the works and I'm just like, I couldn't be more excited. So stay tuned you guys, y'all are gonna see. This year is gonna definitely be the year. So I'm gonna get ready to lay it down. Caleb was already asleep. I just got done putting the dishes in the dishwasher and making my lunch for work tomorrow. And I'm gonna lay it down because I definitely gotta get up early. And then I'm gonna holler at y'all tomorrow. Yeah. 
Good morning, you guys. It's your girl, Chelsea J. Um, it's actually Friday, days later from the last time I picked up the camera. You guys, I actually end up finding a wide angle um, lens for this camera, which I'm definitely gonna get because it always feels like the camera is like so far in my face and my arm is literally all the way out here right now. Um, anywho, I have been a little under the weather. It's like, for like 24 hours, I feel like something is definitely in my throat. Um, so I made me a drink and I actually gotta go into work. That's where I'm on my way to now. I gotta go into work, um, unfortunately, because I started to take the afternoon off, but then I had to take health to his doctor's appointment, so. This is a little ghetto. It's giving ghetto this morning, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I really don't wanna go, but then again, my boss is gonna go on maternity leave, and he ordered my favorite today, wing stop. <laughs> Let me go get this free meal real quick. This tea, y'all, this is a herbal tea. It's called Slippery Elm Bark. It really helps, I'm not gonna lie. And on top of that, oh shit, I hope it don't spill. But on top of that, I just had to go get the damn tea out the garbage because who wants to throw all of Chelsea's shit away? It's my mother. My mother. So not only did I have to go dig in the trash bag, um, <laughs> but I also, the morning's just not going how it's supposed to go. So again, yeah, it's a little get out. <laughs> it is, but nevertheless, I, oh, and I went to Walmart and got the wrong pills. I thought I was getting some cold and cough pills. I ended up getting some fucking, um, it's um like some type of like powder, kind of like Alka-Seltzer. And that's not what I was trying to get. So then I wasted my money on that. I'm just like, ooh child, bring in the positive energy today because it's not giving. It's really not giving today. So <sighs> I'm gonna go to work and act fake for eight hours. All right, y'all. So clearly I am off of work. After I got off work, y'all, I decided to stop by the mall, pick me up something because I feel like I deserved it. <laughs> So let me show y'all what I picked out. So I can get a happy hour. So, I found this shirt. You know anything dealing with the Caribbean, your girl loves, of course. And then I picked up this hat from Liz. Y'all, and they was able to customize it. Do you see that? But you listen. Liz came through today, I ain't gonna lie. That's cute as fuck. Shout out to my best friend, Asia, cause she saw my other hat. He was like, you know what? We might as well put your name on it. So they went, can nobody steal it? I said, you know what? I couldn't have thought of anything better. Anything better. So. Too bad I'm wearing a hat. So let me show you what this outfit that I look like. Okay. All right. So your girl hates a crew neck. So I had to cut the middle parts. Again, some Levi's, the hats. Now I also got these boots that I wore in Jamaica that I never took a real picture in. But I'm thinking like, should I wear these? I really don't want to do my feet hurt because they're going to make my feet hurt, but I don't know yet. So let's just take them out just to see. But let me put everything on. Let me see what this looks like, child. This is cute. On a scale of 1 to 10. 1 to 10. So I decided to go with my Jordans because I was like, I really don't want my feet to hurt. But I feel like this is cute. 
It's just not giving too much, but it's giving just enough. Check out the hat, baby. Hold on, let me get the light. <laughs> baby, this hat is saying something. Huh? Saying something. So, I'm going. Right. I'm gonna catch y'all when I get there. Hey girl, I'm back, honey. Listen, after I filmed that last clip, y'all, I did. I woke up. I did not feel good, like at all. Like that day, I didn't feel good. It was on Friday. Today's Sunday. I didn't feel 100%. But I was just like, you know, the weather's changing. You know, it goes from hot to cold. I can take a little medicine. I'll be good, right? Baby, no, baby. That night, I came home. I took me some medicine. I woke up feeling like crap. Like really like poo okay so i've been doped up <laughs> like for 24 hours and i'm really feeling better now i am um i feel like the medicine did help um and yeah i just really just been like in the bed like doing research all day i've been seeing like a lot of girls like been hyping up this um digital products y'all excuse caleb if y'all hear him in the background but these digital products and stuff so i've been really like trying to research on this stuff to figure out okay what kind of digital products are you selling and i'm seeing now a lot of people are not seeing like what digital products they are selling besides like these courses and i'm just like but what if i don't want to sell a course like you know how else we gonna make this money besides selling the course? But then of course they want you to buy the course in order to get the information. And I don't know if I wanna do that. So if you got any tips, put it in the comments. Put it in the comments right now. Because I mean, multiple streams of income is where it's at in 2024 because inflation is shit is too high. Like, we're not doing that. So put in the comments, like I said, if you got any tips. I've also been trying to get into like stocks and stuff. I got a really good coworker that kind of put me on to like a few things dealing with stocks. So I'm gonna look into that next. Um, yeah, and like I said, like get this money. So, but this these digital products really got me feeling some type of way because I don't know, y'all. Do y'all think it's a scam? And I'm not trying to, you know, downplay nobody or nothing, but I really want to know because. I hear people talk about it, but when they talk about it, it's like they only give motivational, they only give like motivational speeches about it. They don't really just say like, hey, I, you know, this is what I sell. It's all like, you know, you can do it and they want to give like this testimonial, which I, you know, I want to hear like where you came from, you know, like I want to hear like your struggle from the bottom or whatever, but Again, the math really ain't math to me. So correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just looking too much into it, but that's definitely what it's giving. Um, but yeah, but I'm definitely like into my investing era right now. Like I'm trying to like invest and think of ways to invest, of course, to receive a profit at the end. So it's pretty much like where my headspace is, like financially at this time and that's what i'm working towards so we're actually in the process of moving use the okay i'm going to use the restroom you the boo -boo. what so yeah y'all caleb is so extra but yeah let me get myself together so i can go meet my homegirl and we can watch this game and have a few drinks and let's see how the rest of the set turns so i feel refreshed look my eyelashes you look Don't good. look that bad. Oh, thank you, Kayla. Period. So, I wash them. Yeah, fresh face. Excuse me. Uh, excuse you. Y'all gonna show y'all my mask? No. Yes. So, we gotta hit the road. We gotta meet September. So, we're good to go. We're gonna go. So, we gonna watch this game. It's definitely chilly outside. So the outfit definitely fits the weather. See y'all. Oh, see yeah. this slip show y'all. Show y'all eyes straight closed. Okay, they got their eyes closed. All done. Get it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Him and his female. So I'm gonna talk to you. All right, let's hit the road because we got a little drive. We'll talk to y'all in a minute. Let's go take a ride. 
at 7 o'clock, y'all. It's 9-11. I really wasn't feeling good this morning, but now I'm better. Got myself together. Gotta go to work. Then I forgot we got this train at 9 o'clock, and again, it's 9-11, child. I'm doing bad this morning. That's why my manager I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm on my way now. <sighs> but speaking, it's my co-worker. Hi, Miss Yvonne. You're on speaker. How are y'all? And where are you at? Um, I'm on my way. I'm getting gasoline at the gas station. <laughs> Here they just go 
have to do it afterwards. So well, they're they're working on it now. So oh well, that should be good because I don't think that it even takes thirty minutes, does it? For some people, it does. But I got them. Okay. I got the money right now. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. I'll be there in a few minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bye. Okay, yeah, I gotta because go. Because tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Um, not for sure if I really shared this, but I am a manager. So with that being said, and it calls that are setting. So with that being said, I typically don't like provide my team with like, you know, little gestures, little gifts on holidays, just like um, Valentine's Day, and I was speaking with a co-worker of mine um, who is like the opposite. She's very kind, and I have my reasons behind that because of like past, you know, situations or what have you, but baby, I'm going on business, but I'm trying to be a better person and to really just trying to like open my heart back up and just really just, you know, do right by people, so I said, why not? Go get like some little uh, cards. Um, maybe write them like a little note in the cards for Valentine's Day. So I actually end up ordering like the ma mahogany. I was supposed to say mahogany. Mahogany Hallmark set from Amazon. So like this is the first one. It says Valentine's Day. And what I did is I have 14 um, agents. So I'm gonna just I just did like two, and I think it's about six designs. But let me show you. And like this is the second design cute cute this is the third one xoxo this one a little cupid that's adorable happy heart day and then the queens this is the one i really 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 love so and you as you can see like they're not like too big like they're just like you know little regular little parts um big enough i would say <clears throat> And again, um, yeah, so that was about, what, six designs? And it was only about maybe like nine or ten bucks from Amazon or whatever. So I was like, you know what? Because shout out to my co-worker, Shark. Because Shark was like, girl, she's doing like some little cake, like some miniature cakes for her team. Um, well, like the nothing but cakes. I think she processed like an order. Um, and excuse me, child, just got the shower. But, um process like a little order where they all get their own individual little cakes and then she had them fill out a little form you know pretty much saying like what their favorite cake was or whatever but um I feel like it was a really cute gesture and that's why she's just so awesome because she's always thinking of like really cute and amazing things like that so is that Chelsea like what a pass so move on it's time to do bigger and better things so and just be a better person you know all the way around so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and start writing these. I'm trying to think of like what to even say because I don't want it to come out fake, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to be fake, but I want to be like, dang, like she did think about us because I did, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to think about like what I'm gonna write because I just don't, I really don't want to just put like happy V day or happy Valentine day, you know, like something like that. I kind of want to put like something personal um maybe i'll put like a little affirmation in there maybe i'll just do like affirmation in the cards and whoever get it then clearly you know that may be for you so i think that's a really good idea so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna look up um some affirmations for co-workers and note take these in the card and i also bought chocolate so i the actual big bars of the chocolates that you can buy like walmart that come with like six so i got cookies and cream i got reese's Reese's and um, is it milk chocolate Hershey or is it almond milk chocolate Hershey? One of the two. So that way, you know, they can have a selection um, of what chocolate they want to go with their card. And then I said on the little envelopes, I think what I'm gonna just put like hearts in the corner and then um, write their name with like the hearts in the corner. I think that'll be cute. I'm trying to do everybody's name in cursive, but you know. I'm just so used to writing my name in cursive, so I may mean, not <laughs> come out too uh, legible, but we'll see because I got plenty of cards. They actually came with 36, and like I said, I only got 14 agents, so I'm gonna have some left over. I'm gonna either use them if I mess up or save them for next year. So 
Let me get the Ragnese cards, girl. done so what I'm gonna do now well what I ended up doing excuse me was I didn't even look at okay so I notated all the excuse me I notated all the affirmations on the cards and then I just randomly um, wrote their name I did the cards first in one deck and then I randomly wrote their name on the envelopes as you've seen and then just slid it in there so <clears throat> that way it makes it a little bit more personable in my opinion the reason i say that is because i'm not it's not going to be a biased opinion you know or like a biased affirmation i should say because it's not my opinion of them but you know it's not going to be biased it's not going to be judgmental none of that it's just literally just whatever card that you receive you receive you either receive it or you leave it and either way it's okay but I do feel like um, there's going to be a message in here for somebody. And it makes it feel good. So I'm going to just count uh, the cards. Make sure I got all 14. And get ready for bed um, in the morning. So that way we can get the day started. Also tomorrow, um, <clears throat> Caleb has like a little dance during school. And they also have a party. So I'm going to end up leaving work early to attend that with Caleb as well. And we bought... Well, he bought his little girlfriend a teddy bear. So, I'm ready for tomorrow because I need to see what's going on up at that school. Because I don't know who Caleb be thinking he is, baby. He think he's grown and he ain't. So, but yeah, I'm putting it in the bag, y'all. So, I'm going to talk to y'all tomorrow. Of the Caleb. Oh my god.